Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to uh, create a fake infrared image uh, using Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this technique I learned uh, quite a while ago and it works really well. It's probably the closest you'll get to creating an infrared photo without using either a converted uh, camera or the um, filters that you can buy. Um, so this is what the image looked like before and this is it after. Um, as you can see the style that we do it you can still have some of the highlights of the sun light here and up in the sky so you don't lose all the color. Um, it's just in the grass, the trees um, which is the effect we want to go. Okay so first off what you want to do in Photoshop um, I'm using CS6 is just duplicate the layer and I'd like to do it another time um, then you just want to invert the image uh, you control I or you can go up to image adjustments uh, invert and then you want to set the blend mode to color and then you want to go to channel mixer um, and then with the reds you want to put them at 100 the blues 0 and then the reds to 0 and the blues to 100 okay once this is done you then go to hue saturation and then go to the reds so it's just adjusting the reds in the image you're going to bring the saturation all the way down and the lightness all the way up same goes for the magentas um, if you want to see where the magentas are in the image just bring the saturation right up and you can see there still some in the trees some here in the grass so you want to get rid of those so saturation all the way down lightness all the way up um, the yellows you can adjust to your liking which will bring obviously if you too much it blows the image out with color so I like to bring it up just a little bit just to bring back some of those yellows in the trees and uh, up here in the sky okay um, what's it doing could be annoying okay um, you can adjust the blues to change the sky to your liking um, for me that's fine how it is and that literally is basically how it is done um, you then can go on and do some more uh, tuning like your brightness contrast but since I've already e edited this image beforehand it doesn't need any um, good program to use is the Nick collection um, really good uh, filters in there which help enhance the image from detail to contrast to color um, is, is a really good piece of software so we've gone from that so a normal image which has been edited using Photoshop and Nick software to the infrared image or fake infrared image here um, obviously using a proper converted camera like a Nikon D70, D200 you'll get a better result um, or using a filter like the IR720 which is what I have um, and it works really well but if you haven't used the filter for a shot which you like and think oh this could be a good infrared image then doing it the Photoshop way um, is the closest you're gonna get to doing it and I've actually had lecturers say oh to me oh you've got an infrared camera I was like no it's all done on Photoshop and they were really surprised that you can get this close to it being realistic without using the camera or the filter obviously the camera is the best way and then the filter then this way okay that's basically it so thanks for watching see you next time